is spinning There is something I need to know We've been vibing, drank the wine And now you say that you need to go Welcome back to the vlog Today we are leaving Helsinki to Norway This also signifies the start of our hunt for the Northern Lights Through the windows of our plane you can clearly see the differences in landscape between Ivalo and Helsinki which is more city-like After a one hour flight, we are at Ivalo. After collecting our luggages, we began on our long bus trip towards the snow hotel Kirkenes where we went for our king crab safari. Enjoy the scenic ride! Babe, we're glowing on the floor and rolling And here's a fun fact When you see a blank patch of field with no trees, be careful These are likely frozen pools of water so thread carefully We also took a break at the souvenir shop And out of the many we went to This one had the most selections and the most reasonable prices for reindeer products after 3 hours, we arrived at the snow hotel and it's king crab safari time. By the time we finished changing, it started to snow heavily. Luckily, we are offered an additional layer of overalls before we got onto the snowmobile sled for a short trip towards the lake. We can keep on vibing till the morning light. Stay in, yeah. oh, stay tonight, stay tonight. I don't mind, I don't mind. And within 10 minutes, we are here. Instead of having to hunt for the king crabs in the cold, the king crabs were pre caught in cages hidden in the lake, waiting for our arrival. And now, here's a fun fact do you know how the king crab got its name? This comes from the term blue blood, which refers to European royalty. This is a metaphor that describes the profound blue appearance of the veins due to their pale skin compared to peasants who have darker complexion. Similarly, the king crab has blue blood. And today, this blue blood is also used for vaccine testing. While we are taking photos with the king crab, the staff is preparing our meal. So, this is the part that we use for one person. It's like three legs, claw, and the shoulder part. This shoulder part we called king crab fillet because it's delicious meat inside. It's always working because of the gills. We don't want to eat the gills because someone told me they taste like a wet toilet paper. <laughs> don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Our guide then proceed to share about the king crabs and ask if we have any questions. Honestly, the only question we had was, when do we get to eat? But in the name of education, this is how the Russians brought the king crabs to Norway. And they took from Kamchatka Peninsula, at the east of Russia, thousand male king crabs. And after one year, thousand female king crabs. They released them into the Murmans Bay Sea. To prevent overhunting, there is also sustainability restrictions for king crab hunting. We are highly, highly regulated. When we catch the female king crab, we always have to throw it back to the sea, no matter how big they are or how old they are. The smallest male king crab that we are allowed to catch is from bottom of the shell to the top of the shell, 13 centimeters. Anything below that, we have to throw back to the sea. But then we wait for some time that they grow bigger 
and we catch them again. Then, the long-awaited king crab dinner before we proceed to explore the snow hotel. Then take the leg and break it opposite side, like this, and pull out these strings. And unlike normal crabs, the legs tasted better than the claws for a king crab. After the great meal, we went to explore the snow hotel where everything is made of ice. And surprisingly, the temperature of the snow hotel is not as harsh as the outdoors. Once you're in the hotel, you'll be greeted by a bar that serves drinks in glasses made of ice. Then, the accommodation area. Each room is fitted with ice beds with woolen bed sheets and sleeping bags provided. The rooms also have different themes such as Bambi, Ice Climber and Vikings. And if you need to take a dump, there are ice toilet bowls as well. Just kidding, there are actually toilets, do not do your business here. There are sculptures everywhere and at the end of the walkway you will find a Christmassy room which in my opinion is the best spot for photos. But today we are not going to sleep in a snow hotel. Instead, we'll be staying at the Hotel Club Sarisauka, a great spot for aurora hunting. However, it was snowing really heavily and we thought it was a sleeping day. But while we are unpacking, our guide Dylan saw the aurora. But despite us rushing down, we missed it. We have three more nights to hunt for the aurora. Subscribe and stay tuned in our hunt for the Northern Lights.